Hello, dear friends, my name is Dr. Igor Atabekov. I am a clinical oncologist practicing since 2010 in Russia. Uh, today we are um, talking about one more medicinal mushroom uh, that is called Flamulina. Flamulina velutipus. This is a very popular uh, mushroom. It's also called winter mushroom because it uh, uh, gives us fruiting bodies uh, in winter. It is not afraid of uh, coldness. It has, it, it's very popular in Asian recipes and uh, uh, it contains polysaccharides, uh, for example, flamulin, uh, that uh, can support immunity and uh, gut microbiome and has some antioxidant activity. This mushroom has brown fluffy skin here and again it's called winter mushroom. Let's talk about its health benefits. First of all, let's start from a cardiovascular system. Uh, polysaccharides in flamulina improve insulin sensitivity and glucose metabolism. Uh, they inhibit uh, alpha glucosidase and alpha amylase. Uh, these are enzymes that break down the um, carbs in your gut, and um, this inhibition will decrease these spikes after food. That is very important especially for those who suffer from that, suffer from insulin resistance or diabetes. They enhance GLUT4 transporters. These are special transporters that uh, take glucose from blood into cells, decreasing its blood levels. Also, um, it will increase pancreatic beta cell function and uh, reduce um, oxidative stress in the pancreas, improving its uh, work and uh, insulin production. Supplementation with uh, flamulina extract reduced fasting glucose levels and it improved the lipid uh, profiles in diabetic hamsters. Uh, polysaccharides from this mushroom decreased uh, uh, hemoglobin uh, A1C. That is very important indicator of diabetes in uh, diabetic patients. Also, flamulina uh, inhibits ACE enzyme. ACE enzyme is an important target uh, that uh, our official medicine drugs against hypertension um, also are aimed at. And uh, if we block it, uh, it, is, it will cause vasodilation, that means increase of the size of the blood vessels, uh, decreasing its spasm, decreasing the lower uh, blood pressure. And uh, uh, it has antioxidant effects. Polysaccharides will improve endothelial function. Endothelium is the internal coverage of our blood vessels and reduce oxidative stress. And mycosterols, example is ergosterol, a lower vascular inflammation. This is all the prophylaxis of atherosclerosis and, of course, myocardial infarction and stroke. Reduced blood pressure in hypertensive rats was observed in studies, but uh, human trials are still lacking. Next, cholesterol and lipids. Cholesterol lowering effects are due to the fiber um, content, because soluble fibers, they bind bile acids in the gut and reduce cholesterol reabsorption. And mycosterols inside flamulina, they will decrease cholesterol synthesis. Also, uh, this will lower LDL, so-called bad cholesterol, and um, there are some animal studies, for example, on hamsters, uh, they found out that it will reduce cholesterol, uh, triglycerides, bad cholesterol, and increased good cholesterol, that is protective against atherosclerosis. There are some clinical trials on humans, by the way, and this one, uh, they observe that flamulina can decrease the production of melanin and um, this uh, mushroom is attractive as the whitening agent in cosmetics. Also, it can be helpful in uh, food allergies potentially because mice that were given uh, the uh, flamulina and then they were injected with very allergenic substance. Uh, those who didn't get this flamulina, they got anaphylactic shock but those getting it, 
uh, their symptoms were much better. That means uh, the uh, flamulina can be anti-allergic, same as we observed in reishi. Flamulina can decrease uh, immunoglobulins E allergic and eosinophils. Also, it has some antiviral activity, for example, activity against herpes virus of the second type. It can uh, modulate uh, gut microbiota and immune pathways in mice, increasing beneficial bacteria and may enhance antiviral immunity. Also, there was a very interesting studies uh, when uh, some mice were getting vaccine against HPV-16. We know this is oncogenic type of uh, human papilloma virus that causes cancer of mouse, throat or cervix in women. And if these uh, mice were also getting plumulina, their immunity uh, developed was better and they were more protected against cancers. Also, uh, the scientists observed uh, increase in immune function and retardation of uh, liver tumors growth. They found uh, the increased apoptosis or self-killing in uh, lung cancer cells due to flamulina and also they found the blockage of growth and uh, um, metastasizing of breast and lung cancers. Flamulina uh, contains proflamine this is bioactive glycoprotein that is contained in mycelium, not fruiting bodies. Again, mycelium is for treatment. Fruiting bodies are for food or for prophylaxis, just for healthy life, if you eat it. Proflamine extends the lifespan of mice with uh, several types of tumors. One mice is bearing several types of tumors, like melanoma, adenocarcinoma, and also uh, this extract or proflamine can inhibit or block uh, sarcoma. And there are several interesting studies. For example, farmers that grow flamulina, they have much less death rate uh, from cancer compared to the other population of uh, this uh, area in Japan. You can see 97 versus 160. Uh, per 100,000. Also decreased uh, risk of uh, stomach cancer and uh, uh, when they compared many many different types of mushrooms against uh, different cancers they found out that flamulina is one of the strongest directly acting mushrooms on the tumors. Here against uh, both uh, hormonally sensitive and hormonally insensitive breast cancer or prostate cancer and also uh, it has a positive effect on cachexia in advanced cancer patient, meaning low body weight and atrophy of muscles and improvement of quality of life. That means, again, that medicinal mushroom are good adjunctive for cancer patients, but it's not the main type of treatment. It's just adjunct that will support uh, the um, immunity and decrease the side effects of chemotherapy or radiation therapy. Interesting study, we know that men with age they will decline in their sexual function their testosterone will decline and the 12 week trial tested uh, the powdered flamulina extract uh, in the middle aged and elderly men with age related symptoms and the treatment group showed significant improvements in sexual function and uh, better testosterone compared to placebo randomized double blind placebo control trial in 30 healthy women found out that flamulina can improve uh, the skin hydration compared to placebo. That means this is a good remedy to improve your skin health and uh, skin barrier. Here they checked uh, how toxic this mushroom is. We remember that it's an edible mushroom and uh, they give very high doses of this mushroom to mice. Of course, if we recalculate it to the human we will never eat so much of this mushroom, many kilo of this mycelium, I don't think somebody will eat. And uh, they found out some increase in enzymes that uh, may be indicating some damage to muscles. But again, it's very, very high doses. I don't think you need to, or you can even eat so much. And again, they found out that there was a decrease in cholesterol and uh, triglycerides meaning it's a prophylactic effect against atherosclerosis. 
Uh, one more thing I need to mention. There were multiple outbreaks of uh, Listeria uh, contamination in uh, these mushrooms um, from Korea and China. Uh, I'm talking about their farms where they grow fruiting bodies for food, for eating. I'm not talking about mycelium, that mycelium is taken for uh, the medicinal purposes. And uh, some cases, of course, led to hospitalization and even death. That means you need to, if you buy this, um, um, this fruiting bodies, the uh, mushroom itself, uh, you need to cook them properly. And of course, we need to remember about other contraindications like pregnancy, kids and breastfeeding. Why? Because, uh, not because it's uh, dangerous for those uh, groups of people, but because we never proved otherwise. That's why automatically we consider it to be contraindications. Again, uh, mushrooms are considered to be healthy food. Uh, medicinal mushrooms, if you want to take it with medicinal purposes, it's better to choose mycelium, not fruiting bodies. They can, uh, as antioxidants, they can protect our organs, decrease inflammation, decrease damage to our DNA, support our immunity and gut microbiome, can be prophylactic remedy against cancer, but for those who already have cancer, it's not the main uh, type of treatment, it's just adjunct to support immunity and quality of life and decrease the adverse reactions of treatment. Thank you for your time, thank you for being here, for sharing this video, and uh, Thank you for those who support this channel, it's very important to me. I wish you good luck, have a good day, goodbye. Don't be